Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of the Captain of Industry. And I, didn't, I, I actually forgot about the rain, I was just started recording, and uh, as usual, every time I start to record, it usually rains in a game. Uh, this is actually the, the photo mode that they have, you hit F11, you can actually get to like any view you want, you can actually check out the detail, the machines, and... They put a lot of work into these models, I do admit. Uh, I'm not actually going to continue running the, uh, running the game in simulation right now, because... Uh, we have some issues we have to deal with. One of them just happens to be food. Uh, there's a few other things too. Um, basically, I want to start getting some proper production going here. And uh, I am lacking a lot of resources and a lot of, uh, let's say, machines to do the work that I need to do. Uh, but looking at the recipes that we have, uh, we do have the basic uh, construction part. Uh, iron, wood, and concrete. Concrete is an issue. I'm actually lagging behind. I just have one concrete mixer, so I'm thinking about getting a proper concrete setup going. Uh, I want to start getting electronics going because we need them for the construction parts uh, tier two. And for that, we need rubber. I don't have rubber, the rubber mixer set up yet, so I got to get that going, which is also we need copper. We do have about 950 copper right now, but that's not going to last very long. But if I look, have a look at the map here, or yeah, the layers window, all this here is all copper. It's a nice big chunk here. I was also looking for more oil because that's actually the first step we're going to be doing is getting some uh, proper oil set up because we're going to need fuel for the rubber, fuel for the trucks because I've got to uh, build more trucks, get a Probably one or two more excavators, uh, another tree harvester, because uh, I want to start clearing out some trees over here. And basically what I want to do is I want to get a, uh, different zones. And before I continue on, I want to actually mention too, uh, the only oil patches I have found is this one here, which is actually the big one. Other than that, there's a small little patch way over here. A little spot there. Looked around, I haven't seen any other oil. Uh, but I do know that on the, the map here, we can repair this oil rig. And then we can repair this cargo ship. And then this cargo ship will start bringing oil from this oil rig back to here. And it does that for us automatically. Uh, another thing I actually want to do while I'm on the map is I actually want to send the, the ship out to here. And see if we can find another settlement to trade with. Because I'm going to need to get some food. And I don't have food at the moment, but we will get there. Uh, also, too, there's some gold over here. I have no idea what that's for. We'll figure it out. Uh, I can't remember if I did this in the last episode, but I have um, researched the Tier 2 Research Lab. That's the wrong window. And I have queued up a couple of times some research to do. Uh, first thing is going to be the groundwater pump, because I want to start getting some water out of the ground instead of relying on the rain. And then after that, it's going to be into settlement water, and then we got to get into Tier 3 housing or tier 2 housing. Uh, I had the beacon running for a while, and as you can see up here, it's uh, 417 and my capacity is 420. So three more people and that's it, so I had to pause that. I'm still getting one every once in a while, but uh, we don't really have the housing or the food for it right now. So uh, yeah, nine months food supply. And then uh, back into the research here. And then after that, uh, I was gonna get to the fuel station and I was, Originally, I, I was thinking, well, this is going to be placed at the site, uh, at the mine site, and the trucks bring the fuel from wherever over here. But no, this is, I guess you hook up a fuel uh, yeah, pipeline with diesel in it, into here, and the trucks actually have containers that run out to the excavators and the uh, harvesters and stuff like that, fill them up. And then after that, it's going to be in the crop rotation, try to get the food si si situation settled out a bit. Uh, other than that, I haven't really done too much uh, for the research lab tier 2 we are actually going to have to make start making these which are mechanical parts and electronics which of course needs copper which means we got to get that mine going anyway uh, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, should have done this before I'm going to actually clear all the tree harvesting areas because that's just too much for one one guy to handle I just want to focus on where I want to actually have the trees removed so I'm going to take out, let's take out here and we'll take out that one too. And then that way I'm going to get a couple more oil pumps down. We'll expand the distiller, probably move it back over here and add some more tanks. So we'll get that out of the way. I do want to get some more trucks. Now I don't know what my vehicle capacity is. I know there's some research that I have a capacity limit of, or that I can increase my capacity. 
Oh, oh, it's right there. Fifty. Okay, never mind. All right, uh, let's go ahead and build a couple more trucks. Do four. Uh, get another tree harvester too. And I'm just gonna quick deliver everything. Get them out when they come. Oh yeah, just the materials. Never mind. All right, so that's gonna be doing that. And then uh, what I want to also do in here is see if we can get a couple more oil pumps down. Oh, that's uh, right in your face there. Okay, oil. So I'm thinking let's build th three more. One. Oh yeah, that's right. Shift two and three. Hold on, am I going the wrong way? I think I am. Yeah, I am. Let me turn this around. Well, that's interesting. I went to that. I was trying to place it here, and it's not letting me, and I realized, oh, wait, it won't actually let me place it there because there's not actual oil in the ground. That is smart. And what would be smart is getting rid of that tree. Anyway, I'll be back. Okay, so here's what I got set up. So I got four of them set up right now. There's nothing actually being pumped out at the moment because I don't have the pipes connected. Uh, I was trying to have them kind of close and having just like one pipe going through and have them connected, but apparently there has to be like a extra space for it to actually connect to the pipe. But so we got the four. I'm getting the tree officer to take these four out, and while the trucks are moving everything over, I do have enough trucks to move the supplies. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get some distillers going. Uh, I want to get... Okay, what do we need? We just need construction parts. Uh, I'll probably want to do two of them. Uh, yeah, let's do two. So, there's going to be some waste output too. So... I think which way I want to go here. Actually, let's do it this way. Other way. Yes, no, hold on. Hmm. Let me figure this out. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have the pipes coming in this way. Uh, I'm gonna have the, uh, basically, I'm gonna have the try to have both weight, uh, waste output on this side. Uh, we do have to worry about the, the smokestack. So we'll place one there and one there. And I do believe that one or two. I'm gonna actually have all that pipe into one smokestack, but I believe I think they can only Yeah, it only takes so much, so it's really no point in doing that. So now I gotta get uh, get all this stuff connected. What was that? Oh yeah, food supply. It went down, it went back up, it went down, it went back up. So now I know that I need to one extra space. I'm gonna do this. I should go a little bit further. And finish that off, and that can go there. And now, hopefully, if I did this right, I should have enough to actually raise it up. Is it actually... Let's get a better view of this. I want to see if it actually goes over the pipe properly. It does. Okay, can I go down a little bit? I can. Okay. Sorry, just getting used to the mouse controls and the trucks are getting in my way. And apparently you can't interact with them either, so that is fine. And what I'll probably do is just come out like this with the fuel. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's right. You gotta click again, not right click. Now come down here and I should be able to join in just like that. So now, from here, I'm gonna get a whole bunch of fuel storage. And I'm thinking about how I want to actually have this set up. And I think I might go... Uh, let's see here. Actually, I wanted to get some oil reserve too, so we're going to put some more tanks in too. So I'm going to have three going this way. And then I'm going to rotate it, and I'm going to have the other three coming in this way. And then I have a loop back on the pipe on the back side. So we'll have this pipe going into here. And then we'll go from here. And just connect like so. So that'll be our uh, fuel supply. Um, hmm. Now I wanna. I actually wanna see how this will work. I'm gonna pause everything for the moment. We'll go to fluid storage. 
Uh, probably don't need, it, need as much fuel storage or oil storage, but let's see here. We'll have the input on this side. Okay. And then we'll flip it around and do the same thing. Uh, what I want to see though is if I make a con pipe connection like here and here if I can cut this one section out or if I have to take the whole pipe out We shall find out Okay, oops, I hit the right click again uh, I don't think there's really any point in having Both of them connected. So what are you gonna do? Ah It did work All right Let's take everything out except for those connections. Okay, how's the production doing? Now I'm kind of wondering about that number. Okay, so that's what that's what I thought. So it, that number is actually for that entire patch here. It's not just for the individual cells. All right, so there we go. We have that now. Uh, let's see if I have fuel station unlocked yet, and I don't think I do. And we do need to start making rubber. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, we gotta get the waste output set up, too. Uh, but while we're here, because I've got the coal being produced over here, and it's actually doing nothing at the moment. So let's start making some rubber with it. Uh, I can use sand, but I have a lot of coal, and I think we should be using that. Okay, so on this one, uh, the waste output is there. Let's see, I want to get another... Concrete facility going a little bit too. Hmm. I guess we'll do it that way. Because the fuel's on this side, anyways. Alright, and of course we'll do two of them. Show me some green. Oh, that's in the wrong spot. Let me fix that. I guess I didn't need to cut for that, but I did, anyways. Alright, so now when we go back to our pipes. Uh, I should let stuff go while we do this. Let it build up. Oh, that's what that notification is, the low food. And it comes and goes, it comes and goes. All right. So now we just do the same thing with the fuel that we did before. Pump fuel in here. And I gotta make sure I stop hitting the right click. And I gotta go one more. I'm actually wondering now, because I gotta bring conveyors in here too. Let's actually go here. Uh, one of the things that they have here too is if you want to actually pause machines while you're building if you use the pause tool and you select everything and it'll automatically pause it after it's done construction and you just highlight it again and it resumes it so if I'm doing something like this where you know the refi let's say refiners aren't working or something like that and you know what I mean just avoids complications uh, so yeah I'm going to come over with the pipe let me get this done out of the way Okay, there's my mess of pipes. Uh, fortunately, I do have the waste pipe here, so I'm actually going to use that to pump out the waste from the concrete plants. And i got to do the same thing with the refineries, don't I? Oh, yes, uh, that is the... I believe that's a pipe. Hang on. Uh, it's not showing me. Why not? Okay. Okay, got uh, uh, that is fuel. Okay, so this is going to be the, the dirt pipe. Go up here. Uh, lift it up a little bit. And then we'll just connect it right into here. If it'll let me. Get on the other side. I should have to be on the spot. <laughs> Weird. Auto connect on connected on the other side. All right. What is your problem? Paused. Uh, I'm trying to get to the truck, not you. Oh well. What'd you do? What are you doing? Getting stuck in there? <sighs> All right. Well. Um, that's what the vehicle ramps are for. Where are they? There we go. That's more than a small ramp. I don't know what you're talking about. Collision with pipe, because the pipe's too high. <sighs> Let me rescue the guy. Hold on. Actually, 
I think there's a way to actually get this guy out of here. Recover. There you go. Get out of there. Gone. All right. What was I doing here? Is that even connected? Yeah. All right. So that's going in. That's going in. These trucks are waiting. Uh, no trees to harvest. Okay. That is fine. Um, limestone's waiting. Uh, oh, yeah. We're actually going to go send the cruise ship up here. Had space for some reason. All right, now the next thing to do is get some conveyors set up because these guys have absolutely nothing to do. I don't want to use conveyors, so I'm not uh, using too many trucks. Uh, conveyors here. And for cop or coal, I'm gonna need those kind. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna get a few couple more of these set up, and I'll run a conveyor down to the other uh, rubber plant. And I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what I got. Now, uh, I'm wondering what is taking so long with everything. I'm guessing it's the trucks that are waiting on stuff. Oh, yeah, now we gotta get the concrete going. We gotta double that up. Uh, what we will do first is we have explored the location. We've got rubber, copper, and vehicle parts. Hooray! Alright, now the question is do we go up or do we go left? I think we'll go left. So we can go one more trip. And then we have to come back because we need to upgrade our fuel tank. Now, what I'm going to do too is I'm going to do something smart because I got the, I'm going to keep the vehicle depot here. So I'm actually going to put one of these uh, vehicle ramps Okay, uh, look kind of odd. Okay, so in that way, these guys will be able to go up through. I might lower this down. Uh, apparently, too, things like pipes and... I'm not sure about the, the actual uh, conveyors and U-shaped uh, conveyors. But I know for... Uh, I know you, the pipes, apparently you can actually dig out the ground, lay the pipe down below the ground, and then fill it back up with dirt so you can have the pipes buried underground. And apparently that is a thing, so that's pretty cool. Alright, these guys are doing their thing. These guys are doing their thing eventually. That is connected there. Uh, what are you waiting on? Waiting materials. And what are you waiting on? Uh, tree harvester, okay. That's fine. Uh, we're okay on the trucks. So, let me... Uh, oh, yeah, we're going to get the more concrete going. And... The ship is going to be there pretty soon. Alright, so where was the concrete? The concrete was... In here. Uh, rotary, rotary kiln is already set up. We'll actually get some conveyors going into it. Uh, for the meantime, I'm going to leave it actually right here. Uh, yeah, we'll go check that out in just a moment. Uh, it'll have to do go here for now, just in, until we can start getting some more organization, because you know construction parts are the key to everything. Okay. Um, hmm. Let us pause this for a second. Take you out. And, can I get the conveyor, please? Okay, there we go. Wasn't registering. Okay, now, uh, just because I can, I'm going to put another, another loose storage here. Uh, I want to see if I can... Actually, no, let's not put it there. No, we're actually going to take everything out. So, I believe... I wonder what happens if I actually destroy it. Curiosity gets better at me sometimes. Are they actually going to just dump the entire thing? Too many things going on at once. I'll bring you back when it's all done. Okay, while I'm waiting for the trucks to do the thing, we did find another settlement. So we got some more rubber, copper, and vehicle parts. Hooray. And let's see what they offer. Ooh, we can get chickens. And we can get coal for construction parts. I like the other way around, but what can we do? 
They want stuff that we need. Huh. Anyway, uh, that is that. I am, um, like I said, I'm waiting for the trucks to do their thing here. They're getting all backed up, and I want them to empty this thing, and they're not doing it for some reason. I guess because they got nowhere to put it. So uh, I guess I'm going to do a juggling act. And I think that's what we do is we do this. We change that to. Uh, what was it? Uh, crush slag. Oh. Go ahead and prioritize that. And we'll do that. So I'll be right back. Okay, I think we are ready. Except for the fact that I have another truck stuck. I'm going to cover you. And uh, we will set you to concrete. Uh, or, I mean, concrete slabs. You're doing the same thing. So I have everything all connected right now. Actually, that reminds me. There's one thing I want to do. I want to get this thing out of the way. So we're going to go ahead and fire this thing back up. This is paused. It was originally doing the scrap and the coal. So we'll get that going again. And we'll get some more iron. If I have the space for it. No, but that will go very soon. Anyway, so yeah, uh, I got a big, uh, big supply, uh, a buffer here for coal, and that comes down. It branches off. I got coal going over here towards the limestone because the, uh, or going down with the limestone because the limestone and the coal make cement. We have limestone being mined up here. The trucks aren't actually doing anything, so that's why we're not producing anything. So then I have the cement coming into here. The cement's going going to be going down this conveyor all the way down into... That was the wrong one. <laughs> uh, no, that does not go into there. It's a good thing that didn't actually finish building. Uh, what that's supposed to do... Okay. Man, it helps if you use the right conveyors. Uh, it turns out I was using the wrong conveyor coming from the cement, uh, the cement factory there, over to the cement mix, uh, concrete mixers. And I was put the the U channel, the, the U shaped conveyor in all the way, and I had to take it all out. And I was trying to get stuff worked out because the trucks were getting stuck and all the usual fun stuff. Now I just gotta wait for parts to get all this stuff finished. But now that we're making concrete, we should have parts. And we should be good to go. Uh, so I'm going to let this go for a little bit. And I'll bring you back when that's all done. Uh, as far as this goes, I think we can actually go ahead and make the... Yeah, we can. We make the groundwater pump here. And I think... We could probably place right here. Is it actually going to fit? We can squeeze it in there. Oh, that's the wrong button. Uh, outputs on that side, so let's put you in here. And I'll run a pipe over to the tanks here. I'll probably get rid of this and we'll carry on. Okay, we're chugging along, chug, chugging along here. Uh, the coal is finally connected and the conveyor is actually rolling, so that means that's going to be supplying all this stuff over here. Uh, we are producing rubber, that is good. Uh, we are producing concrete, which is good as well uh, the problem is though is we have more homeless people now we are close to getting that research I found out that the research labs they do actually add up so if you have multiples then you get multiple researches being done but for the time being we're gonna have to build some makeshift housing just because we can we go ahead and go ahead and prioritize that and in fact can't even quick deliver because we don't have the materials because I'm building everything else right now uh, and I can, and the pausing only, uh, I believe the pausing only actually pauses the building itself, not the construction. Uh, let's actually find out. See if I pause all that. I said pause all that. Oh, yeah, because the active machines. Alright, well, they're just going to have to wait, and we're almost out of food. Which means we're going to have to build another farm, too. Uh, farm. Oh. Put that there somewhere. Yes, there we go. Alright, so we got food, so that's set up and uh, let this continue going. How's that doing? Oh, it hasn't even been done yet. What is going on here? Oh, yeah, storage. Uh,. Yeah, anyway, I'll bring you back when this, everything's done here. Okay, so I'm going to make an executive decision here. I'm currently halfway through housing 2. I need to cancel that. I need to cancel everything. 
because I need to get this done ASAP. I don't know if there's any way I can actually speed this up. Uh, priority, make that a priority one. And see what happens. See how long that's going to take. Because we're not going to make it for food. I can't even buy, trade any with uh, one of the villages because I don't have construction parts because I'm building everything. But uh, again, I love the dirt paths, how it's going. As soon as I started building this, I all started going back and forth and you can start to see like little runways going. Uh, I'm kind of, kind of wonder if they're ever going to have paving in the game eventually. I do not know, but we will find out. But anyways, I'll bring you back and hopefully everybody survives. So I'm sitting here for a few minutes trying to figure out why nothing's getting built. You know, I was like, well, what's going on? Why are we not getting construction parts? And I realized, right of wood. You know why? Because I haven't actually had any tree cutting done, getting done. So let's go ahead and get a little preemptive here. And I think, because uh, I want to get to the copper eventually. Let's do, oh, that's the wrong mouse button. Let's start with this little area here. And then you. I'll give you three trucks. And that should get the ball rolling just a little bit. I don't think I have any wood in storage, do I? Oh god, no, I don't. Anyway, I'll be back when the forest is gone. It's kind of funny. It's like watching a colony of ants run around. Instead of ants, we just got pickup trucks. It's kind of funny. I forgot I actually had two harvesters, so they're over there getting a lot of wood. Uh, each one of them has three trucks, so hopefully things start rolling along and the food supply is starting to improve. Uh, this is just temporary because... Uh, Currently getting the irrigated farms. Once we get the irrigated farms set up, then we're gonna probably produce more food and we'll always have food, so we don't have to worry about dry spells and we're out of power, so. What is. Oh, we need a fuel, do we? What is going on here? Hmm. Why are you not getting fuel? Okay, uh... Oh, I don't think you're still getting oil. Oh, that would make sense. I took you out of the loop. Alright, hang on. Okay, well this should be a, a simple solution. I don't think direction really matters. Oh yeah, well it automatically connects. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to connect this pipe from here. And we'll just patch it right into our fuel line here. That is the fuel line, I do believe. Yes, it is. All right, and then we can get our resources back. That's the wrong button. Get that out of the way, get that out of the way. And yeah, that is it. Now reclaim all these pipes too. Because we don't really need it. Well, don't need them, but we actually need the resources more. But anyways, I'll be back. What do you know? Toggle direction does actually work. This wasn't filling up, and then I actually clicked on the pipe toggle direction. I filled up with diesel right away. And so we're actually doing good on power. Which means everything should actually get done pretty soon. Okay, well, I'm just waiting for them to make the tier 2 construction parts. Uh, they still got this conveyor line to set up to get the cement going to the cement concrete mixers. But we do have the irrigation farm set unlocked. So to upgrade them, all we do is do that. And, oh wow, that actually takes a lot. I thought it said it took one, apparently not. So maybe, maybe we'll pause that upgrade until the conveyor system's all set up. In fact, let's go ahead and do uh, that. That's not gonna do much. I think if anything, I should probably switch one of these over. Which one's not being used right now? Uh. No, 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 let's uh, switch you over to here, get you out, and missing input. What are you missing input on? Oh yeah, that. Hmm. Actually, what I can do, I don't have the construction materials for that, so I will bring you back when it's all done. Actually, what we can do while we wait is do some more research. Maybe even send the ship out again. We got a settlement there. 
Uh, I have a feeling I have to go up there, over there, or down here even. There might be an enemy, but... Let's go explore this one and see what's there. And while we do that, let's check our research, see where we're at. Uh, oh, I like that. Actually, uh, maintains the progress. I don't know if you can actually see, but the green bar is about halfway right now. Uh, housing 2 wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, your crop rotation wouldn't be that bad either, but maybe we should look at other production stuff. And I was looking at this, like there's, um, they have balancing, it was mentioned before that there's balancing conveyors and chutes and pipes and stuff like that. But I was looking further down. Uh, what's in here? Oh yeah. Uh, so it's conveyor routing, so you can actually say, okay, well, you have certain items come out of a certain, certain point along a line. And as you can see, it's just like so in depth. I don't want to look at how far it goes. And I have been thinking about getting into this, but I don't know really how beneficial that is to me right now. Uh, so in the meantime, I think we'll continue with the, the housing, uh, captain's orders, and captain's office. I'm not too worried about. Not worried about excessive uh, uh, burning off excessive gas. Uh, not really too worried about the balancing, maybe we'll do the crop rotation and then we'll get the vegetable farming in afterwards. And look at that, we are finally fully producing. The only thing I don't have really is uh, slag set up into here, but that's fine because we already have a nice surplus going. These are going to be doing their thing for a little while. Uh, oh, you need... Cement. Oh yeah, they they just finished it, so the cement's finally rolling now. So there we go. Cool. Uh, that is still not being probably because I all oh, this irons in the way. Uh, hmm. Oh, that's why I'm using a coal burner. Something like that. Anyway, uh, let me go. Let this go for a bit. I'll bring you back. Okay, I finally got things worked out. Uh, I ended up having to put a second uh, rotary kiln in here to keep up with the concrete production. And that was a bit of a bit of a challenge to work in here. I was having connection issues with the conveyors and all that stuff. But this is all, again, fully automated. Trees had uh, been planned to be cut, so I'm going to clear out the whole area here. Uh, I don't know how many trees are on the map. That might be something we might have to look at uh, outside at imports to deal with the wood supply. Uh, we do have our first irrigated farm. I don't have any water set up to it yet, but we'll probably end up doing that next episode. I'm gonna try to get uh, some supplies built up. But we do have a location. We got more rubber, copper, and vehicle parts. And it's another cargo ship. Hmm. We have steel. Let's actually start repairing it. Uh, so what... No way that works is I send the ship back home and then once it gets back home it gets loaded up with parts and I can set it out to go actually start the repair on that so I think that's gonna be it for this one we finally got uh, proper rubber and coal output going or rubber and concrete so we're making use of our fuel and our oil and diesel and all that stuff so uh, production is going that is good i finally have a backlog of materials so these are going to continue going and there is the ship so we bring this up back in we go over here uh, oh there we go start loading the ship so now well, we're going to load up 240 iron into it which would be a few trucks. Fortunately, I have a few trucks. And I think what's going to happen is uh, we do actually have the option to upgrade these at, of course, tier 2 construction materials. Uh, and, of course, that's going to need uh, the electronic part, so we're going to have to get into the, the copper mining next. And that's what we're going to do in the next episode, is we're going to start working on the, the mining and smelting operation, and I'm probably going to get a whole bunch of uh, blast furnaces going so we'll have adequate supply but until then i thank you all so much for watching hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to leave me a like and as always i'll see you in the next one later